Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So just recently, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas sent Kamala Harris a little gift. Well, the gift was unannounced and that was 50 migrants to her home in Washington, D.C. Now, typically the vice president lives on the Naval Observatory. And so that's where the migrants were sent. They came from places like Colombia, Cuba, Panama and Guyana, just to name a few. Now, a couple of days before that, he sent her a hundred migrants. And so she's not too thrilled about it. And in fact, she said this. They are playing games. These are political stunts with real human beings. I think it is the height of irresponsibility, much less just frankly a dereliction of duty when you are an elected leader to play those kinds of games with human life and human beings. And so, uh, yeah, I guess it is, you know, it's not nice, but I get why they, being the Republican uh, politicians, specifically that of the governors, I get why they're doing it because a lot of those governors like Florida and Texas, um, Arizona, they are near the borders and that's where a lot of immigrants come in at. And so they're like, we're not for the open border policy like you are in the Democratic Party. So we think it's only right that we send them to you and you can deal with them and use your resources in order to take care of them. And so what they're doing, like Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, of course, Greg Abbott and a few others, they are loading migrants onto planes and buses and they are dropping them off in the blue states unannounced. And so once they get there, like Martha's Vineyard, um, the Hamptons and Washington, New York, once they get there, then people, the politicians there have to deal with them. And in a lot of cases, a lot of the residents have come together and said, okay, well, let's help put them up, feed them and things like that. Because a lot of the migrants have been lied to, I guess they were told by the uh, Republican governors or whoever, whatever, that you're going to go get help, jump on the plane or the bus. Because come on, if they told them, listen, we're using you as a political stunt to, you know, get back at the Democrats, they're probably not going to want to get on there. So, you know, of course they lied and won't probably say you're going to get help and all of that. And then once they get there, uh, in some cases, they're just completely dropping them off and they are left to fend for themselves until people, you know, figure out what's going on and help them. And so, you know, with Kamala not loving what's going on is like, well, I mean, we as black people don't love what's going on with us either. Y'all have been using us as political, you know, footballs and playing political stunts with black people for a very long time. A lot of the bills and things that y'all write harms black people, like the crime bills that your homie Biden wrote, you know, and they're still in effect that has predominantly affected black people. Even the latest one with the Asians. Yeah, that was for the Asians, but that was really against black people. And also, you know, Biden stood up there, says, I'm going to be with y'all because y'all was with me and he, he lied. He hasn't done that. So those are games that y'all play with us. But now y'all want to act brand new because the migrants or immigrants are being played with. Then why, why should they be special? Why, why should they be treated any differently than us? And so, again, you know, I don't love all the things that the Republican governors are doing, but I do think that they're on the money with this. Y'all deal with it. Since y'all y'all are with for these things, y'all deal with it so we can get back to doing the stuff that we do. And that's be racist in every other way. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. So y'all tell me what you think of the story. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws 
for those that especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.